I pushed the call, the, the lab meeting uh, to order at uh, 9.02, I think, uh, 9.01. Uh, Gloria, if you could do roll call, please. Yes. Chair Nees. Here. Commissioner Gia. Here. Commissioner Day. Here. Commissioner Doppelmore. Present. Commissioner Gary. Present. Commissioner Mayer. Here. You have a form of the lab committee. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, I'd like to, at this point in time, open it up to any members of the public that might have uh, comments about items that are not on the agenda. So if we could uh, please open it up if you um, want to have comments, either if you're in the room, raise your hand, or otherwise uh, feel free to raise your hand on the Zoom call. But we'd like to open it up for public comment. All right, I am not seeing any public comment. Uh, so we'll move on in the agenda uh, to item number three, which is the chair's report. I have nothing to report. It feels like we just met, I, even though it was in June and uh, and the months just kind of flow by and uh, we're already in September, but, uh, but looking forward to the updates that we will get both around the budget as well as on um, state and federal legislation. And again, thank you to the staff who have been busy at work uh, pulling all of this together for us. And so uh, that is my report. Uh, with that, I'd like to move on to approval of the committee meetings from June 22nd. So if I could um, first open it up to any public comment that someone might have on this agenda item. Seeing no public comment, this is an action item. So I'd like to see if there's uh, any motions regarding uh, this agenda item. Second. We have a motion to approve and a second. Any comments? Do we need to do a roll call vote on this, Gloria? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go ahead and do a roll call vote. Bernice? Aye. Commissioner Gia? Aye. Commissioner Day? Aye. Commissioner Doppelmore? Abstain. Commissioner Gary? Aye. Commissioner Mayor? Mayor? Aye. Motion carries. Great. Thank you very much. I, and I have, I, I just realized I uh, should have let everyone know we have a new student member. Uh, Alexis has joined us. And so, uh, I, I didn't take a moment to to recognize our, our new uh, commissioner. So super excited to have you as part of the lab committee uh, and uh, an honor to have you. I should have done that during my chair's report. I apologize. Alexis, do you want to introduce yourself to the group? Hi, I'm Alexis. Uh, so excited to be here. Um, I'm a first year doctoral student from Santa Clara. So I'm studying social justice leadership in higher ed. And I'm very excited to be here. Um, thank you, champion, financially support. Fantastic. Thank you. We're excited to have you as part of the team. So awesome. With that said, we'll move on to our next agenda item. Uh, this again is an information item uh, and it is an update on our state and federal legislation. Um, we'd like to open it up if there's any public comment. Um, we, actually, we'll do it at the end. Why don't we turn it over to, to Jake and the team to uh, give us the update and then we can open it up to public comment. Thank you. Well, Good morning, commissioners. It's nice to see you all again. Um, and uh, we're really uh, looking forward to the opportunity to present on some very significant updates to our uh, legislative agenda um, over the just the past couple months since we saw you last to commissioners and this point doesn't feel like it's been a long time, but we have a lot of updates to get through. So we'll dive right in. Um, we are going to try to share screen from here now. I almost made the um, automatic reflexive jump to try to unmute this screen because I'm so used to meeting with you all virtually, but I think we just need to uh, share this. Okay, great. So um, with that, I'm going to pass it over to our colleague, Alex Zuko, our state and federal policy manager, to share some updates on our state legislation that we're sponsoring, supporting, or tracking, and then I'll uh, take over for the update on federal policy movement. Hello, good morning. Good morning. All right, 
sponsored legislation. We did very well. So we had AB 1746. That was our Cal Grant reform, and that was uh, incorporated into the budget. Um, after it was incorporated in the budget, it was hard. So you will never see like a grant signing of it, but this is um, a big success. And then second, AB 2286, which allowed the um, commission to um, receive philanthropic funds. It is something we already kind of do, so it just codified our current practices to make sure it was uh, all good. Any questions on these two? And a big hooray. <laughs> Bill. And the first one up is uh, Dr. Rambula's bill for 2810. This um, reflected the, um, it was looking to codify what was in the Dear Colleague letter from the uh, U.S. Department of Education that there could be data sharing from what was in the FAFSA to kind of help students know what other kind of resources they might be eligible for. Um, this is currently sitting on the governor's desk. We have sent all the letters and made community phone calls and all the good things. We also got to testify on this bill whenever it appeared, so that was also great. Be a partner. Um, 